Sejumlah kawasan di Washington DC dijuluki food desert atau gurun makanan karena langkanya supermarket atau kebun komunitas. Proyek Urban Food Hub dari University of the District of Columbia berupaya mencari solusi dengan pertanian vertikal. Controlled environment ag uh, is able to grow anywhere between 3 to 10 times as much food per square foot as a traditional farm. Uh, we're also growing in a controlled environment climatically, so we don't have nearly as much of the pest pressure, which mitigates needing to spray pesticides and herbicides as well. So there's no nutrient runoff, there's no chemical runoff from sites like this. Produk nabati yang dihasilkan disumbangkan ke sejumlah lembaga sosial dan bank makanan setempat. Artinya, juga mengurangi dampak lingkungan dan bahan bakar transportasi dan limbah makanan. On average in the US, the food miles can add up to anywhere from 1500 to 2000. That is if you add all the miles that make up your plate of food, it's just so much. Para pakar menilai siapapun bisa mulai bercocok tanam sendiri di rumah. Hanya perlu sinar matahari, sepetak ruangan dan kesabaran. Bahkan, balkon apartemen kecil pun cukup. You just have to match whatever you're growing on, maybe the amount of sunlight that you're, you're getting. If you are getting anywhere from and above, like six, seven, eight hours of light, then you can do uh, tomatoes again, you can do uh, little peppers. If you are not getting that amount of light, you want to start thinking of the more of the leafy greens, uh, you know, Swiss chard, spinach, and stuff like that. Diperkirakan populasi global akan melebihi 9 miliar tahun 2050 dengan dua dari tiga orang tinggal di perkotaan. I see us more as almost revolutionaries, right? We're revolutionizing how food is grown, where it's grown, and who has access to it. Sektor pertanian menghasilkan 10% emisi rumah kaca di Amerika Serikat yang berkontribusi pada perubahan iklim. Salah satu masalah yang juga ingin diubah lewat budaya pertanian kota seperti ini. Dari Washington DC, VOA.